BBC News with Gareth Barlow. Nigeria's governing party's candidate, Bola Tanubu, has taken a strong lead as counting continues in Saturday's disputed presidential election. But the two main opposition parties have alleged fraud and called for the poll to be rerun. The Electoral Commission has rejected the accusations. All Israeli suspects detained over rioting against Palestinians in the occupied West Bank on Sunday have now been released. Eight suspects were held over the settler rampage which killed one Palestinian. The UN's nuclear watchdog has asked Iran to explain the origin of highly enriched uranium particles discovered at the country's Fordow plant. Iran has claimed that unintended fluctuations in enrichment levels may have occurred. The US Supreme Court has heard arguments over the legitimacy of President Biden's plan to give loan relief to millions of students. Six Republican-controlled states are arguing Mr Biden is exceeding his powers. He promised to cancel $430 billion worth of loans. The top prosecutor at the International Criminal Court is in Ukraine to investigate whether Russian attacks on the Ukrainian power grid constitute a violation of the Geneva Convention. Moscow has claimed the bombardment is to degrade Kiev's military capacity. President Putin has banned the use of non-Russian words in official situations and in government publications. Foreign words may only be used where no acceptable Russian equivalent exists. Brazil's Supreme Court has ordered the conditional release of some of the people who participated in the violent anti-government assault on government institutions in the capital last month. The alleged rioters will have to wear electronic tags while they await trial. And Peruvian police have discovered a mummy believed to be at least 600 years old inside the cooler bag of a delivery worker. The man was searched at an archaeological site in Puno. He explained he'd been sharing a room with the bandaged mummy. BBC News.